So guys and welcome to class uh, and this uh, that would be actually the first lesson in, in a brand new series of lessons here at Morton's Lessons uh, which I named Essential Jazz Vocabulary. So this is Essential Jazz Vocabulary number one. Um, the whole idea with these lessons uh, is that they, they're going to be very short. It's going to be very little information, basically just one uh, very simple phrase. Uh, in this case, it's uh, kind of three variations of the same phrase, um, you know, or very similar, you know, <laughs> uh, variations of that phrase. And the idea is that by by practicing, uh, you know, just learning these phrases and uh, and and immediately trying to use them within your own improvisation, the more of them you learn, you're gonna have a lot of tools that that are are just gonna come naturally when you when, when you improvise you know eventually they're just going to be a part of of what you're doing and and that it's going to help um, um, bring some balance or you know bring more balance to your playing because you're going to have each and every one of these ideas are going to be you know perfectly balanced small little snippets uh, so um yeah i think it's going to be really helpful so, so let's ju just to go ahead with this uh, number Number one <coughs> uh, sounds like this. Uh, and from the end here, you probably uh, might want to think about uh, the next note uh, being a scale note, a, a chord note, uh, or maybe an inside note. This is typically a, a something you play over a, 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 an altered chord. In this case, E, E altered. So it's really kind of spelling out that tonality. So depending on uh, what chord uh, you're playing on or, or where you kind of had it, you could play this, you know, typically on an E, uh, E altered, uh, resolving to A minor. So in that case, you might, might want to continue down to the C, the minor third of A minor. You could also play it on top of just an A minor chord. You know, the, the lick is, uh, the, the notes inside there are, are actually very close to A minor. The only note that is not in A you know, pure A minor is, is this G sharp here. So that's a minor, um, uh, you know, playing it on my own. Uh, as I've mentioned many times before, you, you could also play it on, on major. In that case, you would kind of superimpose a minor-ish, minor -ish, kind of sound on top of major. This is A major. Right? I have a lot of minor notes there, so, so it's gonna, you know, it's gonna give a clear minor tension to that uh, tonality. And same if I play just a regular E9 uh, or E7, um, unaltered. That would, uh, that would be, you know, A, minor, uh, a major, which is the, the scale closest to it. But if, so, so by doing this uh, idea here, or you know a darker feel uh, so so that's it you know that's uh, uh, <clears throat> that's that's uh, you know idea no, number <laughs> number a okay moving on to uh, example number B same kind of tonality same notes but a, a little bit different instead of going straight down like this we're going up here at this thing here it can look uh, like the a blue scale flat fifth here. and it can also look at, uh, like uh, like an e kind of bebop scale where you go chromatically from the root down to the flat seven okay so depending again uh, on uh, what you're playing what chord you're playing on probably it would be something around a major or a minor 
uh, if you play A minor, you could, well, you, you actually are, you, you, uh, and, uh, line here is ending on a minor third, so you could resolve to the nine, which is a nice tension note. Okay. A minor. If it's A major, it would be nice to go up to the major third. example C again a little uh, little variation instead of going straight descending like this we go okay. this uh, I think this is uh, interesting uh, when you think about the blues you know the m one of the most basic or common blues cliches ending of that line. Okay. Same thing. But uh, in those two different contexts it, it just sounds you know completely different. Three very simple variations of, of that idea. It's a very po powerful um, way of establishing uh, that uh, altered or minor kind of sound. So um, be sure to have that one under your belt. So good luck and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.